Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So, I got in the long Y jacks, the male to male Y jacks. <clears throat> I got the ones from 309 Customs. I got the ones from uh, Black Diamond. And I also got the ones from Rhino Audio Works. They're very similar. And uh, some are longer than the others, some are fancier than the others. So as far as looks, the Rhino are definitely the best looking. Really nice ends. Braided sleeving. Fancy. Split boot. Nice, solid end. The other two aren't as fancy. These are the ones from uh, Black Diamond. And these are the ones from 309. But the fancy ones are the shortest, which was an issue for me because when we're doing a street glide, road glide, fairing mount, and we want to go DSP to the amplifier, the short ones reach the first amplifier, but they wouldn't reach the second amplifier. So that's where 309 Customs has the edge because theirs is the longest. So there's where we place the, uh, we normally do one or two Sound Digital Evo X 800.4s. So on the street glide, it goes above the radio, side by side. On the road glide, it goes one on top of the headlight and then one under the radio. So, and the DSP goes between the speaker pods. The first amplifier was no issue. All three companies reached. The second amplifier, only the 309 Customs Y Jacks reach because they are the longest. So it's not a quality thing, it's just the way we do it, the extra few inches made a huge difference. So here's all three. Those are 309 Customs, these are the Black Diamond ones, and these are the Rhino ones. The Rhino ones are, let me get a tape measure so I can give you exact measurements. But before we get to the tape measure part, somebody made a comment about them being not being twisted pair. The Rhino ones are the fanciest ones, but they are not twisted. To some, that may be a big deal. To us, it's not a big deal because if you need noise rejection, it's normally over a long run of an RCA cable. These are as short as possible. These are about one foot. One, be, these are between 1 foot and 18 inches, so they chose not to go twisted, but they have the thickest and the most amount of copper out of all of the three. So they're the fanciest looking, they're the sturdiest, but they're not twisted. Here's the one from Black Diamond. These are twisted pair. And these are the ones from 309. They're also twisted. Another thing I like about the 309 custom ones, they have the smallest head. This makes a huge difference when you have the amplifiers up against the gauges, especially when you're trying to do two 1200s in a street glide, and you need every centimeter of space to get the fairing to close. When you have these up against the gauges, they're literally the smallest. Black diamond ones are small, but they're maybe a quarter to an eighth inch longer. And the Rhino ones are the fanciest, but they're double length. So these are just under half inch, just about a half inch, and these are about an inch. So if you need that extra space, there's a difference between the three. The 309 ones have the smallest head and the longest length. So these are, I'm going to carry all three. I placed a pretty good size order with all three companies, and they each have their application. And you have to remember, we do cars here as well. But for the motorcycle, I think the 309 Customs work the best for us, only because we're replacing amplifiers. Now, if we were doing a tour pack install where everything was going to be displayed, definitely going with the, the Rhino ones because they are the prettiest. These are some really sexy, really good looking RCA cables. So, uh, tour pack install, these would be my go-to if I'm going to expose the RCAs. Um, 
the they're all quality we've used all three we got zero noise using all three but i think in the fairing installs where i'm trying to do two amps in the fairing tree glide road glide 309 custom is what we're going to be using only because for us for that second amplifier on the street glide i need the smallest head possible and the extra length means i can reach both amplifiers so uh let me get a tape measure and show you the exact length and then after that i'm going to take you back to the bike and show you what they look like on the bike the reason there was a need for these in the first place is this is a standard y jack and a lot of times it doesn't reach to the amplifiers from where the dsp is mounted it's just a couple inches short even if it does reach we have two males, one female, and you end up using a low quality barrel connector, which isn't optimal, and then sticks out really far from the DSP. So then your other option was to add a very short RCA. One and a half foot is the shortest that we can get. Other option was to add a one and a half foot RCA, which is the shortest we can get. Once you add that, you end up with way too long, way too much wire in the fairing. and multiple connections so you have connection here connection here connection here so that's why these guys are so much better direct connection direct connection and the perfect length okay so rhino audio works 13 inches long non-twisted pair black diamond 14.5 inches long twisted pair 309 custom audio 17 and three quarter inches long twisted pair so if we're doing a fairing install with two amplifiers our go-to is going to be the 309 customs only because of the longer length and the shorter rca barrel uh quality they're all really high quality as far as looks the rhino audio works is using thicker conductor cable it's more solid and it looks better. So if we were to do a tour pack install where the Y jacks would be visible and we were looking for aesthetics, all day, every day would be the Rhino Audio. For everyday use, I have to go with the 309 Custom Audio. But uh, all three of them are quality. We stock all three, we use all three. That's just um, how we would use them. Okay, so we put all three sets of RCA Y jacks head to head. We didn't get noise with any of the three. Um, the build quality is solid on all of them. We put pressure on all the ends. None of them came apart. So the uh, Rhino series is obviously the sexier one out of the three. It looks good, but they're too short. So uh, in a tour pack install, all day, every day, I would use these because they look the best. So if you're laying out the wiring, the tour pack, and the connectors of the amp are going to be seen, obviously these would be our choice. Uh, the Black Diamond was our second choice. Uh, twisted pair, good solid construction, small head, but our go-to is definitely going to be the ones from 309 because they have the shortest head and they have the longest length. So when we do street glides and road glides and the amplifiers are mounted on the road glide above the headlight and on the street glide above the radio, the extra length helps us get from the DSP to the second amplifier. So it's no RCAs being used, just purely Y jacks coming from the DSP to the amplifiers. So it's literally perfect. Um, it's no surprise to me that uh, these work out the best for us because the guys at 309 actually do installs. So they figured out what length they needed just from bikes that they had in the bay. They know what bikes they do all the time. They know what amps they use all the time. And they know what length of wire it would take. So of course, they were able to give Metra the specifics that they wanted and Metra built them to their specs. So I will be carrying all three brands. I find a need for all three brands and we do cars, we do bikes. So we're gonna need every, we're doing an install now on a Ferrari where we're gonna use the Go Rhino ones because where the amplifier is going, you're, the RCA connectors are visible and these are the best looking ones and the length really doesn't matter in that install. But uh, the 309 is going to be our go-to for two speaker installs in the fairing. And the Black Diamond is just a good in-between length, solid, good cable. So I'm going to carry all three. And I'm sure with all the heavy orders that all three companies are going to be getting, some of these companies are going to be out of stock. So if you choose to only carry one, you might be out of stock for a while. So we're going to carry all three, and we have all three in stock. So I uh, hope this video helps. Have a great day. Okay, here's a typical setup for us. This is a Street Glide CVL. 
So we have two 800 set up, mounted on the amp rack that we use above the radio. This would be in our stage two high power or in our stage three. So it's two sound digital Evo X's. So now we used all three Y jacks from all three companies. The only one that was able to reach the farthest amp was the one from 309. So HK Mini DSP in the pocket like we always do. And then if you see the RCAs are perfectly ran, there's no extra slack, it's beautiful. But let me show you why I like the ones from 301 motoring just, 309 motoring just a little bit better. Okay, so we gave the Rhino ones the easiest job. We went from uh, the very first channel, so this is channel one, this is channel two on the DSP. So it's the closest, the highest up, closest to channel one and two. So since it's the shortest, we assign that job to that one. And there it is going into channel one and two. But you see how the RCAs are longer and it comes really close to the cluster. See that? Then we use the black diamond for the second set and it goes into the second set of the amplifier. The barrel on the black diamond is a lot shorter so we don't have it hitting the cluster, which is great. But that is the maximum length of that one. So if you're doing a single amplifier, it's fine. If you're doing two amplifiers, the Rhino and the Black Diamond are not gonna reach the second amp. Now we gave the 309 Customs the hardest job. We went from channel eight, which is the last channel on the DSP, all the way over to the last two channels on the 800.4. And they reached beautifully. You see that, no kinks, beautifully. So the furthest channel, all the way over to the furthest channel, and they reach perfectly. And you can see, Amplifier mount bolt is in, and we have plenty of space between the cluster and the RCA. There's no pressure on the RCA at all. It's not touching. So all three Y jacks are great, but uh, if you're doing two amp setup, that would be my go-to because you can't. You can save some space if you rotate the amplifiers, put the RCA on the front side, but uh. I don't know how much space you'd be saving. And this is the way I like to run it. That way I can tuck the power cables down along that side, down along this side, and then put the fairing back on. All three great companies, all three great products, and we're gonna carry all three. I knew somebody was going to ask, so I flipped the amplifiers around the other way, which I don't like to do because then it presses the power wires up against the back of the gauges like that. But if you choose to do it this way, all three companies reach. There's the Rhino ones going all the way to the last. Obviously, the 309 ones reach because they're the longest and the Black Diamonds. So if you orientate your amplifiers this way, any of the three will reach. So that's the shortest one, and it reaches all the way to the last. So use whatever solution works for you.